Hey, this is James over at Realty Candy. I wanted to take a few minutes and show you this new tool we've been working on that we call Social IDX. And basically what it does is it adds the um, viewed listings on the IDX broker pages. So let me just give you an example. Let me first of all show you how to set it up and then I'll show you what it looks like. So to set it up, it's really easy. You just click over here on Designs, Pages, and then you go to the details page under the edit layout. You'll see that there's a current template. You want to go all the way to the bottom here. And we have these three different layouts. In this first example, this is social IDX details. So this shows it at the bottom of the page. And this one will show them at the top. Let's activate the one at the bottom of the page first. So we go back over here. We open uh, the pages. Let's click open one of these details pages. And this site hasn't, this IDX uh, account hasn't really been set up to the site yet. All the styling and stuff like that isn't really put together too much. But irregardless, if we go down here to the bottom, you can see popular listing. This is one that was viewed first. So let's say I do a new search and uh, it doesn't matter too much what we see here. And I'm going to start with this one in Roberts Creek. And as I go to the bottom of the page, you can see that it's showing this as the most recently viewed listing, and then this is the most popular one because we've already seen it. As, as we move through here to the next property, say I'm a client and I'm looking through different properties, you can see that this uh, continues to update. As we look at the next property, there's three, and this will go all the way till we get um, five properties. So let's go down here. We'll skip one more. You can see that it's showing uh, the recently viewed listings. So the good thing about this is this allows um, clients to go back and say, oh, I was looking at this one on Grassle Road, so let me click that and go back and see what that is. So the clients can quickly move back through properties that they've seen. Now you can add any kind of CSS code and change uh, rules on these and change the settings and things like that. Let me show you real quickly, if you want to change the template on this, I'll switch it over here to the activate on the top. And let's see, I believe this is it. I'm just going to just click on one of these other properties. Uh, right here under the top. So I can see the recently viewed listings. And they're right here under the pictures. So when the client looks at it, uh, they're, they're here on the top. And you can put... Um, CSS code or JavaScript code or whatever you need to do to move those to around on the page to a different part of the page if that's what you want to do. And again, we have the popular listings. So this is Social IDX uh, 1.0 and it's showing you the recently viewed listings and the most popular viewed listings. It's really easy. All you do is set up IDX Broker with your details page, go to layout and change it to the template. So let's click here one more time. And you pick either one of these and hit the activate button. These are only available for folks that use Realty Candy as their IDX developer partner. And if you have some questions about how to do that, you can reach us at support at realtycandy.com or on our contact us at Realty Candy. So we hope you enjoy it. Thank you.